35 Park Street. Okay, so this is Sojourner Truth's house. She lived here from 1850 until 1857. She moved to Battle Creek, Michigan and was a member of the NAEI between 1843 and 1846. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate that. She launched her career as a nationally known speaker against slavery and for women's rights from this home in Florence. Wow, that's awesome. She paid off the mortgage on this house in 1854 by selling the narratives of her days in slavery published with the help of William Lloyd Garrison in 1850. So this is this is the house of uh, Sir Joyner Truth. Isn't that amazing? That is so awesome. So now we're going to go back over to the memorial. So she did a lot for women's rights. And isn't that incredible that she actually walked from Upper State New York to Connecticut to Massachusetts? Talking about um, slavery, anti-slavery, and women's rights. She was a big women's rights uh, leader. So now we're going to head back to the she was a she was pretty money savvy for her times as a woman. Yeah, she was. But I mean, if they paid her fair wages here, and according to what they said, you know, she worked in a silk factory and she was paid the same as whites. So I think that's awesome. That, um, that made a difference. That enabled her to buy the home. You know, they didn't discriminate. Fair wages helped. Yes, absolutely. They made a huge difference. So, the people here were fair people. You know, there was no white, no black. And sold her publications, paid off her mortgages. Yeah, and then um, she sold photographs of herself as well. So, it'd be awesome to have somebody Battle Creek, Michigan, and the one in uh, New York. But Battle Creek is where she died. So hopefully they have a, a bigger memorial for her. Yes, she was very enterprising. And so she couldn't read and write, and she just dictated her life in slavery to a friend. So yes, please join World Black History on Periscope. Yes, go to our Facebook group, bit.ly slash FB group, W, well, black, WBHP. So we're going to go back and I'm going to close, give you guys one last look at her memorial. And we are in Florence, Massachusetts, Northampton. Rift in New York is closer to Poughkeepsie, not quite this far, but maybe. Okay. One a great example of being a good steward and what God give yeah, what God gives you. Absolutely. Absolutely. So yes, please join us. And I want to thank everybody for joining for our virtual field trip in uh, Florence, Northampton, Massachusetts. Yes, very tall woman, six feet tall. Isn't that awesome? Thank you, oh, thank you, Rena. If you haven't yet, just hit Perry over there. Thank you, Marta. Follow World Black History on Perry. And see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one.